my name is Pratik. You are watching Story Studio Loaded. Today, I am going to show you how to do subtraction with borrowing. Let's start with two digit subtraction. 90 minus 30. We cannot subtract 3 from 0. We will go to the tens place. We have a number here that is 9. We will borrow 1 tens from the tens place. Now this 9 is 8 after borrowing. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. We will go to the tens place. Eight. Now 8 minus 1 is 7. Our answer is 77. Now let's do 3 digit subtraction. 703 minus 287. We will start with, with 1's place. We cannot subtract three, uh, 7 from 3. We will go to the tens place. Here we have 0 that we can't borrow. We will go to the hundred place. In the hundred place we have 7 here. So we will borrow 10 tens. This 0 is now 10. And this 7 is now 6. And now let's start again from 1's place. We cannot subtract 7 from 3. We will go to the tens place. Now here we have 10 here. So we will borrow 1 tens. Now this 3 is now 13. And this 10 after borrowing this 10 is 9. So 13 minus 7 is equal to 6. We will go to the tens place. In tens place we have 9 here. 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. We will go to the hundred place. In hundred place we have 6 here. We can subtract six, uh, 2 from 6. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So ans our answer is 416. Now let's do 4 digit subtraction. 7080 minus 2394. We'll start with 1's place. We cannot subtract 4 from 0. We'll go to the 10's place. In the 10's place, we have 8 here that we can borrow. We'll borrow 1 tens. Now, this 0 is 10. And after borrowing, this 8 is 7. Now, we'll again start from 1's place. 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. And we'll go to the 10's place now. We cannot subtract 9 from 7. We'll go to the 100th place. Here we have 0 that we can't borrow anything. We will go to the thousands place. In the th thousands place we have 7. We will borrow 10 hundreds here. Now the 0 is 10. And after borrowing the 7 is 6. So again we will start from the tens place. We cannot subtract 9 from 7. We will go to the 100 place. In the 100 place, we have 10 here. Now, after that, this 7 is 17. And after borrowing, this 10 is now 9. 17 minus 9 is equal to 8. We will go to the 100 place. So, in 100 place, we can subtract 3 from 9. So, 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. We will go to the thousands place. In the thousand place, we have 6 here. We can subtract 2 from 6. So, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So, then and our, our answer is 4686. Let me explain you once again. We will start with 1's place. We cannot subtract 4 from 0. We will go to the tens place. In the tens place, we have 8 that we can borrow. So, we will borrow 1 tens. This 0 is now 10. And after borrowing, this 8 is 7. Again, we will start from the ones place. We can subtract now. We can subtract 4 from 10. So 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. And we will go to the tens place now. So we, can, we cannot subtract 9 from 7. 
will go to the hundred place. In the hundreds place, we have zero that we can't borrow. We'll go to the thousands place. In the thousands place, we have seven here. We'll borrow ten hundreds here. This zero is now ten. The, and after borrowing, this seven is six. We'll again start with tens place. We cannot subtract nine from seven. So, we'll go to the hundred place. In the hundreds place, we have ten here. Now, we can borrow. Now, after borrowing, we'll borrow ten tens. This seven is seventeen. Seventeen. And this ten is now nine. 17 minus 9 is equal to 8. We will go to the 100 place now. In the 100's place we have 9. We can subtract 3 from 9. So 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. We'll go. Now let's go to the 1000's place. In the 1000's place we can subtract 2 from 6. So 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So our answer is 4686. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned how to do subtraction with borrowing. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Bye friends. See you in the next video.